Hi everyone, it is Jo and this video is about some of those buzzwords that we're hearing thrown around. Frequencies, resonance, vibrations, hertz. What does it all mean and is it grounded in science? Well, the answer to that is 100% it is. It is not some hippie construct, it is science. Um, so let me take you through a few of these concepts and explain a bit more. Vibrations, well, what does that mean? Well, vibrations are just the movements uh, of atoms or particles that are caused by energy. And atoms comprise the basis of all living things. Everything is made from atoms. Um, you know, at the core of a living human being, we are atoms of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. And this is why everything is, uh, well, we say everything is energy because everything at the core is comprised of atoms. So yes, we are all just atoms. Because all things are comprised of atoms, all things will then, by default, have an energy field of their own. They'll have their own vibrational frequency. Humans, objects, even the Earth itself has a frequency which we then measure in Hertz. So Hertz, um, <clears throat> excuse me, Hertz units simply mean the rate at which those vibrations occur per second. So if we are talking about 10 Hertz, then the current goes in the forward direction, then reverse in back direction 10 times per second. So that's what the Hertz is. It's the way we measure those vibrations, that energy. And when we talk about frequencies, we mean the rate at which something occurs or repeats over time. So this is the cycles per second, which is our hertz. So the frequencies are the rate at which it repeats over time. So vibration is the physical phenomenon involving the matter, the particles and the atoms. Frequency is the cycle or pattern of these vibrations repeating at regular intervals. And hertz is the unit of measurement that we use to describe the cycles per second. How many cycles per second? Then we've got this word resonance. So in physics, it's, um, resonance is the tendency of a system to vibrate with increasing amplitude. Let me make that a little bit more clear. So a living being or an object tends to vibrate at a specific rate. This is what we call the natural resonant frequency. So all different atoms, all different cells, all different particles vibrate at different rates. And that is their natural resonant frequency. So uh, a particle will vibrate strongly when it is subjected to vibrations at regular impulses um, and at a frequency equal or close to its natural frequency. So this is where I've spoken before about kidney cells have a particular vibration. So if we can add a vibration similar, equal or slightly higher than the resonant vibration of that cell, then that cell is going to increase its amplitude, increase its vibration to meet that state. I have a good little um, example, little demo that I can do for you. Now, this is not going to be complete because I've only got one tuning fork, but this tuning fork is a 512 frequency tuning fork. Now, what I would love to be able to do is have another tuning fork, but I'll talk through what will happen. But the principle of resonance in physics states that when two frequencies are brought together, the lower frequency will always rise to meet the higher frequency. This is the principle of resonance, a scientific principle. So if I had another tuning fork, this is, and you can Google this if you don't believe me, but this is the resonance of 512 hertz. I don't know if you can hear that. Now, if I had another tuning fork next to it, what would happen is without 
hitting the other tuning fork, it would start to vibrate. If it's in close proximity, it will start to vibrate to meet the vibrations of this tuning fork. That's pretty incredible. So I use these tuning forks in my private practice. I hit the resonant frequency, the 512, and I place it close to the ear of my patient with the intention of this tuning fork impacting their natural frequency, their resonant state, and increasing their vibrations. There's ways you can do this in nature too. Um, and actually, I might come back and talk to you about that because the earth itself vibrates. It has a frequency. It has a natural resonance. We as humans have a natural resonance. In fact, the natural resonant frequency of a, of a human is about... Well, they say anywhere between 5 and 10 hertz because our frequency does change. When we sleep and we're in a delta state, our brain waves slow, our frequency decreases. When we're in a state of arousal, we might be in a beta state um, or a state of just calm relaxation and alpha state. So each of those states has a different frequency. So to sort of average that out, we say between 5 and 10 hertz. The earth itself has a resonant frequency um, of about 7.83 hertz. Now, this is really interesting because 7.83 hertz is the, is the human brain's average alpha frequency. So alpha being a state of calm relaxation, it is the same. So we are matching or attempting to match the average frequency of the earth. Now there's peaks in that frequency in the earth's vibrational field that are called the um, Schumann resonance. So these are a set of peaks in the extremely low frequency, extremely low frequency ELF portion of the earth's magnetic field. But isn't it incredible that um, you know the earth's natural frequency and all living beings, we are all connected through these vibrational states. And that's why we feel calmer when we are out in nature, away from the concrete, um, taking off our shoes. Because if you think about your shoes, they have rubber soles. Rubber is an insulator. It stops us from connecting with the earth. Um, but yeah, get away from the traffic. Get away from the noise and the chaos and the fluoro lights and just go out into nature and what happens. Just like my tuning fork is if your frequencies are low because of the stress, because of work, because of relationships, because of all the toxins and pollutants, then you'll start to naturally resonate with the higher frequency of the earth. Um, and this is why you feel better when you are outdoors. Um, take your shoes off. We, we tend to tell our kids, put your shoes on, get your shoes off, as long as it's safe. Yeah. Um, connect with the earth. Humans are made of trillions of cells which are made of atoms, which are made of particles. And those particles are just vibrating energy. So we can raise our resonant frequency. There's things we can do. Yes, we can use Healy. That is where Healy comes into that by changing the um, amplitude, by adding these little micro frequencies to our body to stimulate the cells and to increase our frequency and our vibrational state. But you can also do a few other things, practical things, which I, as a psychologist, also try to implement with my patients. So they are things like, and I'm going to refer up here to my notes, um, become conscious of your thoughts because everything you think, say or feel becomes your reality. Your thoughts are vibrations. Your thoughts are brain cells vibrating. They produce a frequency too. Um, and what you think becomes your words. Your words become your behavior and what you do is your reality. So change the way that you think and increase your frequency. Find something beautiful and appreciate it. Take time out. Um, connect with the earth like I was just saying. Uh, be conscious of the foods you eat. Foods also have vibrations and, um, you know, with, with the toxins and the pesticides and the additives and the preservatives and the sugars, which are toxins in our brain cells. All these things bring our natural state down. So be very conscious of the food you eat. You know, eat organic, well-sourced foods. Um, the soils these days, you know, they're depleted of nutrients. So, you know, source out your food. Get good quality food. Drink water, of course. Um, water is 
nature's elixir the best thing you can do is stay hydrated even with your healing you know a lot of people are saying why is that black circle coming up could be because your skin is so dry yeah you're dehydrated and if you're doing um, micro frequency therapies you should be having a good you know big glass of water before you engage in that because you are introducing electro frequency into your body um, and you know the the cell potentials are really important in that so you need to be drinking water before and after any kind of intervention meditate meditation changes us um, out of that alpha state into higher states so it improves it increases our natural frequencies being grateful uh, I do experiments with patients. I hook them up to all sorts of little um, gadgets and I get them to focus on a negative thought and I show them what happens to their body. Um, their heart rate changes, their skin temperature changes, their muscle contraction changes, their pupil dilation changes. All these states in their body start to change just by focusing on a negative thought. Then I give them a moment and we pause and we breathe through it because breath is like the, the switch between the subconscious and the conscious mind. And then I get them to focus on thoughts of gratitude. Their blood pressure comes down, their heart rate decreases, their muscle tension relaxes, their pupils start to relax. Um, pretty phenomenal. And this is without me even knowing what they're thinking, just having that thought because a thought in itself is a frequency, a thought is a vibration practice acts of kindness so taking that thought to the next level and acting on it so a thought in and of itself is just a thought but now we're turning that thought into an action one of you know positivity uh, kindness loving kindness to each other and that causes not only us to increase our vibration but like the tuning fork the other person's vibration will rise to meet your own and get your blood pumping this is simply exercise getting you know the oxygen through your body um, and getting your cells working well a healthy cell is a healthy body so that's it i hope that that uh, video gave you a bit of an idea about vibrations frequency hertz and resonance what it all means and why we throw these these words around and the scientific context of them uh, if you have any questions please you know send me an email or um, join me in my private Facebook group that is a support group and uh, my my first thing to do in life is to help caregivers so helping people who are naturally stressed because of their situation so I do have a support group for people caring for loved ones with frontotemporal dementia um, but I'm also starting up, not active yet, but brainandbeyond.com.au will be my new domain. It is not up, but it will be soon. And I will be providing videos like this and information like this on that website. So send me an email, um, join me on Facebook or subscribe to my YouTube. I'm looking to upload a lot more videos. But until then, have a happy, peaceful day and I will see you soon. Bye bye.